Uh, you know what? If it wasn't going to be Alexander, a new one is next in line for a somewhat parental figure. Highly <laughs> somewhat unstable. parental figure. Ain't that the fucking mood? Damn. <laughs> because Shiny... He's got a reason to be how he is. He's fucking three years old. And Nadalia is the damn pacifist. I feel like that's already going to be a troublesome feat. Looking for a pseudo dragon as if it was a stuffed toy. No, that shit's pretty good. I still can't believe you sent. You have them so far apart. The other side of the fucking country. Yeah, the country's the size of Germany. What do you expect? You know what? That makes sense. Yeah, that's true. The size of Germany? Yeah. The walking, it takes two weeks to walk across. Like, just, th that's on a buggy and carriage. Continuous movement. Not even stopping to rest. Fuck <laughs> Christ. Yeah. Okay, it's yeah. a country. <laughs> it's a country. Why don't you spend tickets? Yeah, you know, that makes sense. I'm looking at Germany. Yeah. I think Germany, think but they... turned to the side. Oh. <laughs> Do you think they got a Berlin in there then? Somebody got a Berlin. <laughs> Kai, don't you dare tell me now that you have a place that is a Berlin in Germany to your fucking world of Muestra. Kai, no way. No way, Kai. Have I you have Germans there? on the continent. <laughs> They're the dwarves! Dwarven engineering is the best in the world! <laughs> God damn it, guys. All right, uh, I'm just gonna consult the Germany map for any more traveling needs. No. The ice cream truck! Uh, <laughs> How are you, fantasy? <laughs> <laughs> While that ADHD motherfucker goes, how are you? How's how's your weekend been? How's your weekend? Uh, I've been good. My weekends are pretty good. Pretty, pretty normal. That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. I, I worked my entire weekend. So oh, sorry about that. No, no, no. I got paid for it. And nice. I actually got to do some stuff. It's a rip! It's a Oh shit! Red. No. Yeah. All right, here we are in the final countdown. The three caballeros. The three caballeros. I'm going now. Okay, I'm sorry, DM. I know this is going to ruin an immersion, but I will forever now think of Muestra as Germany now. Congratulations. Who? Do you, what do you think I based the map off of? Honestly, I just thought you made it up. I'm gonna be dead honest with you. I took. A likeness of Germany turned in on its side and went. There needs to be a couple of more like cool coastline shit here. Other than that, we good. Honestly, I'm not okay. gonna do it. But Russia, do it, do it, oh, fucker. Yeah. You won't. Too I'll much landmass, motherfucker. Do it. Don't care. I'll do it anyways. Fuck you. What's up, Barrett? D Looking Gaster's general real quick. Something um... beautiful just happened. And gave me a face of a cow, but in a hot pink fedora. It's a hot pink fedora, so what? Eh, in the wrong Malay. server on my phone, trying to, Ow. trying to do Ow. shit. If you want a pink fedora, do I can a give you a pink fedora. Like, it's a fedora. <laughs> You want to have disadvantage on stealth? Because that's how you have disadvantage on stealth. Exactly. <laughs> I think he already has disadvantage on stealth. For being a big ass dickhead, and if you're gonna have a fucking chainsaw, a hand chainsaw, I feel like that would somewhat add to it. Caladan has a decent dexterity, but he is not stealthy at all. Then that will be your downfall eventually. Chainmail. What a shame. He doesn't even use chainmail. He's just. Is this my guy? Actually, hold on. Let me check if the new one uses chainmail. 
Uh, I'm... Attends? Can you? Uh... Yeah, I think chain he has them. I have, sca I have yeah, scale mail. Yeah, it is. Yeah, scale mail and chain mail are different. Yeah. The difference is quite staggering, actually. Scale mail is a 14 plus dex modifier of 2. Chain mail is just a straight 16. And you 13 strength, and a new one doesn't even have 13 strength. So you already know how that's turning out. God, his stats suck so bad. <laughs> and I do. And I'm like, yo. And I do, and I did two spell casting modifiers. What the fuck is wrong with me? Why? <laughs> that was rough, buddy. Because I thought, you know, at the time I thought, oh, you know, the stats should be fine. They should be okay. No, they're not. They're not. <laughs> they're so not. I'm, just, I'm in pain. But Man, I can't back out. I'm already level suck. nine. I'm already level 9, I can't back out now of this, it's too that far in the rabbit hole. It Me does, but I'm making it through, because I realize I can be nutty. I just am too stupid to be nutty. Like, I have a lot of shit that actually is kind of like, oh fuck, that's actually pretty good. But then I'm like, how do I use this again? Oh wait. Are we starting, or are we just waiting? Yeah, we're, we're waiting on the others. We have started the stream and the recording, yeah, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That's how I knew this was happening. Yeah. And I could come in to bug y'all. That's okay. fine. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, I think, honestly, we're probably going to wait for Sinome. I really have a feeling that Duke's not going to be here today. Wait. Mm. Has anyone seen him today? No. No. Okay, I have. Wait, he must be at a call. Uh, um. Cool leg. Cool leg. Yeah, he was here yesterday, but that's not today. So, no, I haven't seen him either. Yeah, yeah he's at. Kool this week is cool leg week for uh, stream to understand. It is cool leg. So we're going to be missing players as they try to figure out their schedules. Heck, uh, I'm going to have to figure out my own schedule because of, um. <clears throat> Wednesdays of Wednesdays because my win my game my Wednesday game uh well actually it's just going to be for one day because I because my class starts on Wednesday but he hasn't posted shit like where I'm supposed to buy the book what call it uh which website I'm supposed to go through X Y and Z I haven't. I have heard nothing from this man. Other than, oh, the class is going to be modified Wednesday. What the fuck does that mean? This play, this, you're gonna actually have to deal uh, with a 30 minute class, meaning that we're gonna speed run through everything. Dude, wow, I don't awesome. mind. Mm. No, because Wednesday game starts at 7.30, not 6.30. You got more time. Yeah, so I do got more time. But I also might take change. off Tuesday for, uh, stop doing Halo Night if I can. Yeah. For me, it's mainly just, I'm fine. Most of my classes just start early morning. And, uh... Mine are late. online. I didn't oh. feel comfortable going to class and having to wear a mask. Honestly, same. But also, I was too late to picking classes, so I didn't even have the option to <laughs> have it But honestly... I probably wasn't going to do anyways. The most it is, if it's in person, is hybrid. Which just means I do any labs in the school. Everything else is online, especially the teaching. So I'm like, eh, fuck it. I'm deal fine with that. I would like to roll initiative to the first Hi. person I see. Uh, I'm going to look at I'm going to look at Adalia. All right? And I'll roll initiative, Adalia. No. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> I will initiate Hexblade's curse once in this Wait, lifetime. Why? 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 No, I don't even have that. I do have Hexblade's curse. Oh yeah, fuck you. Yeah, I just don't use oh, it. Oh gosh, the child! It screams. That's right. Yes, that is child number three. All right, let's roll They're all here. back. Oh shit! Wait, I forgot to add some shit to it. Wait. So. Uh, Oh, what yeah. the fuck happened last session, note taker? Uh, so we made it to Averton, where we saw Shiny's uh, sold plan 
of uh, the drive through that actually appeared. It was quite fascinating to see it actually made fruition. We see the gnomes um, putting on glass lightings. They seem to be some sort of research group. Um, though shiny art is quite uh, perturbed by this, mainly because um, one of the person, one of the people, or like uh, I think the, the main boy in that group or that was in that group, or just kind of makes these groups, named Olaire, also known as Dickhead Olaire, uh, at least in my notes, uh, from Olaire's trading company, uh, sent him on his quest, because he was the meant, he was meant to be some sort of espionage agent, to report back to Tulip Guard on how they're purifying the water. Once they figured that out, the gnomes ditched him, and then that was it. It turns out these gnomes are either are racist or they just like each other and no one else also known as maybe racist um when we reached there and a new one intervened these gnomes thought they were in they saw someone inventing bread they just literally went to him and like who the fuck are you you the devil boy and then they met uh the person running at least that small group of gnome researchers known as isis uh <laughs> Different ISIS, as in the Egyptian uh, god of Egyptian knowledge god and magic. ISIS. That's only because, well, I mean, yeah, you know my name, and yeah, you can see my name, so, you know, you can take that as you will. God is great! And, um... Stop! Afterwards, we... We get just to the taverns, the ends to sleep and that kind of stuff. And then, you know what happens? Dream time! So... Wait a minute. Okay, yeah. So we'll start with. We're gonna start with Shiny. He gets flashbacks on that specific moment, the moment he got dicked over from uh, that espionage mission. It, I think it was like a big boom or something of the sorts. I actually didn't write that down. That's actually kind of uh, sucky. Uh, big boom happened, if I remember, and then that was kind of him being left behind. They, they thought they left him for dead. Uh, for Alexander, he saw quite the nightmare. Everything burning and his vision. Um, he saw friends and family from the circus practically crucified to trees. You know, culty stuff. And then, uh, Groblin. Huh? Wait a fuck? Oh, no, that's not enough. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Groblin. <laughs> oh, Groblin. Oh, no, I remember. No, no, not, 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 not. He's not there yet. What the fuck? Groblin showing up in our dreams. The fuck? The fuck? Um, we then go to me, where it's just I see the lake, and then their saloon, and then we talk, and then uh, and then I wake up and I get and I get so angry. I write in my book something, and then uh. What a else? man over here, two time and gods. Mm hmm. And then, uh. Fuck, I actually did not write anything down for Adalia. What? I thought Adalia I. Adalia learned that her pseudo dragon, which, um, was. Half across the country? Or do we already know that before? You knew that. Yeah. But... What did Adalia go through? No, wait. She had. Oh, that's frustrating. <laughs> that is yeah, so frustrating. I learned that her pseudo dragon, which I forgot the name of once again, is um halfway across. Like it is far away from Adalia. <laughs> she was able to figure out. She was able to learn the name, relearn the name, which got her hopes up. But then learned that her poor pseudo dragon so far away, which. It went from 100 to 0 in hope real fast. Friday yeah. game crossover soon. Hell yeah, boys. Well, maybe not soon, but some point, I guess. Uh, and then after that moment, we woke up at some... Coming soon to a kite for you. <laughs> we woke up. It was some brekkie. Not the happiest moments for everybody. Uh, 
and then we decided, oh yeah, we need to show the forge, or at least uh, the place where the where the dragon where the dragon eggs are. Oh, so I we go meet up with uh, the goblins, and we met up with a boy named Goblin. He is one of the ones who are much more smaller when us adventurers came over here a while ago. They age pretty fast. I'm always gonna keep. I'm scared. I want to name this thing Groblin. Like yo, Groblin. How you doing, Groblin? Oh, Jesus Christ. And then that's it. Hey, that's yo, Groblin. That's where my notes end. Yeah, that's pretty much what happened. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Let me get that inspiration. Fuck yeah. Yeah. We are the now inspiration in a... that you guys don't fucking use. We never use it because there's never a need. Paul you Tyson. Could use it, but you don't. Because those are the Chad moves right there. Inspiration dice to improve something? <laughs> nah. Let the dice choose your fate for you. Yeah, the dice usually just fuck me over anyway. Exactly. So we are in probably, I think, session 26. Maybe less or more. That's how I wrote it down as. Alright. You I say was... that, but I have a 98. I, I just see the memes now. Right, I have like a 98 stat thing, and I'm like, hell yeah. Though, it's already pre- like, it was a pre-rolled one, and that was a while ago, so I doubt I'm ever gonna use it, but hey, it's a thought that counts. Alright. So, uh... Yeah, yeah. here we go. That's how the fell of it. Let's get started. You two have ready. woken up pretty early in the morning. And it is, it is chilly out there. It is basically winter. And there is, Burr, and there is still snow on the ground. Inside, it's a little warmer. It's just barely comfortable. But outside, I... it is like, if you want an actual temperature, it's... You don't mind me doing centigrade. Oh, centigrade. Celsius. Uh, it's like negative two out there. Negative two. Okay. It's not that cold. That, that is, that oh, is that it's a bit chilly. I never it's get like a negative 20. two. I've seen negative ten before. My dad's like, seen hi. negative fourteen degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, that's I've well, seen. Never, I've, I've seen been outside I, and it's so cold that the bubbles from farts. I don't know where I was going with that. Anyway, with we that? blew. That's okay. No idea, but I was at. It w did get so cold once in Michigan that. You could blow a bubble outside and it would freeze. Okay. It is, it is wooden in, the, in this inn and in tavern, correct? It is wooden, but it is insulated. <clears throat> okay. So it's mildly cold in a way. That's all I just need to know. I'm... Well, I got no quarrels. I'm going down the stairs. I'm getting out. I'm going to check that fireplace. I must see if it's even on. Alright. The fireplace is roaring and there are already people up and about. The heat from the ovens uh, and the fire are actually helping. Plus the candlelight that is used to light the area is also help. Uh, the um, oh, oh god! Hello! Hello, one spectator, and hello, Sanon. Oh, another spectator has joined the group. Alright, so minus 2 degrees Celsius is 28.4 degrees Fahrenheit. So, oh, actually... it's not bad, but it's enough to freeze your butt if your butt is... Fr is uh, if you're naked... If you're, you're naked, dead. if you're naked, you're gonna get frozen. Unarmored defense yeah, barbarian, yeah. actually dead. All right. So they already light the place up. Yeah, everything's been lit up. Everything's been lit up for the entire night. It's just now the ovens are starting to be turned on. The 
fire in them are, is he, the heat is reaching out of the kitchen. All right, so, so it's I'm, nice and toasty. Mm-hmm. With uh, packed with the tome, I get the cantrip to it craft just for this, just to see how it's going to be. I cast it. Uh, I cast druid craft to see what that weather will be like in the next 24 hours all right the weather is going to be basically a fucking blizzard Shit. all right guess we're about to hold it now then i will not here now we still the forge fuck it that's actually heat i'm uh oh well i'm so nice we'll give it heat. We'll so it shiny heat. you remember your dream last night with olair Ah, there's a bit of an echo in here. Anyway. Yes. Good. Good job. Good. We talked about Great. what yeah. the fuck now, happened. Now I remember who that is. Okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about what the fuck happened. Oh, uh, yeah. The, uh, the ho. The ho. The ho. If something, if a fire brightens does it make it hotter that sounds like a dumb question but i do need if to know. the fire gives off more light it consumes more fuel and it gives off more heat if the color of the fuel of the thing changes the fuel either changes or the heat changes uh, I, usually, I just uh, usually whenever fire has a different color is because it is burning a different chemical, which means that a different chemical reaction is happening. And yep. Different chemical reactions have different uh, heat yields as well as uh, light yields. Yeah. So mm -hmm. there are ways to get more light, but at the cost of heat. But it, you would have to do some chemistry for that. Shit, Bella does not know how to go for that type of shit, so we just ain't gonna do that. That plan is hey, out of the box. Spectator number two thinks you're really cool. Thanks. Nice. I know my chemistry and my shit. I actually looked up, <laughs> up shit because I'm like, I have not ever been stuck in a blizzard. I've been stuck in like an ice blizzard, but never a true blizzard. Oh, the woes of never living in the coast for me. Or at least I live in the coast and no longer do I get I'm actually upset. I want a blizzard one day. I don't. This thing suck. I know. Anyway. What I want to know. You see a couple of halflings talking with some gnomes um, towards the front of the store, and you see halflings drinking gnomish beer and gnomes drinking halfling, br halfling brew. Nice. Seems like they finished up what they were doing last night. Oh yeah, the lantern. Pog, did they finish my gun yet? <laughs> <laughs> these be these aren't the bitches you're looking for. I want my gun. Wait. Anyway, so, do you understand then, how long it takes for a person to make a new gun to make sure it doesn't blow up in someone's hand? Yeah, I, I know. I just really want my gun because I've been trying <laughs> to get it for like eight levels. Yeah, there's a point I'm not giving you a gun out of the gate. Okay, but eight levels, gamer. Yeah, but you're making your own gun, gamer. Gamer. Okay, but eight levels. Okay, but shut the fuck <laughs> up. Anyway, shiny, you awake and you see Idalia come out, coming out of her trance. What the fuck is going on? Uh. Oh, okay. My little nephew has. Uh, it sounds like someone is trying to cut down a tree, but it is actually my little nephew's toy. It's like a lawnmower that's supposed to blow bubbles. And he's just pushing it along. It sounds like someone's trying to cut down a tree. Ew. We're in the middle of a hurricane right now. So that's why I was like, what the fuck is going on? Uh, okay. Someone's trying to cut down a tree. In the middle of a fucking hurricane. I've seen Dumber. Let's see how it goes. That's about Oh so, yeah, I'm coming out of my. Yeah, you come out of your trance now, hear and Shiny wakes up. Slap a V8 on that, on that little lawnmower. No. No. <laughs> what is wrong with you? One, I don't have a spare fucking V8 around. 
too. I do. I do, but... I'm not gonna try to go down to Texas to get myself a V8. Exactly. Actually, it'd be down to Louisiana, because that's where it is. Oh. I'm not going to some waterlogged V8. better or worse. I don't know. Louisiana's not that hard. Not that far. It's just a pain in the ass to get to. Imagine how much, how many bubbles. No thanks. No. Oh yeah, ooh, ooh, ooh sword. Yep. You know what? It's been a hot while. I'm gonna pull out the ooh, ooh sword. Oh yeah. Don't I still look like a madman mixture <laughs> of like Sailor Moon and the edgiest motherfucker you're ever gonna know? Because <laughs> I just realized that. <laughs> DM. Hmm. Do I still look like I belong in a Sailor Moon episode? It's slowly coming along. You have now like noticed that you have frills at the edge of your... The, the frills that are turning into laces. La like, lace frills at the end of your I hold up that ooh sword and I start speaking to it. Um, hello. Could you make not? Ooh, who's this? It's a new line. Oh, line! I do Where's have Kendall? Not oh, Kendall. She's... Fuck. What's her name? Daphne. Okay. Where'd Daphne go? She. Um. She did. <laughs> did she go to college like she wanted to? She is. Or she's at least going off on her own to find a way to pursue such a thing. Oh. That's too yes, bad. I'm... Yeah. Maybe she might come around, maybe. Who knows? Hopefully. I do have one question. What do, do you, you want? Do you only do in this style of clothing, or can you change uh, how the appearance turns out? Well, I do like this style of clothing. But if you find a different style and I like it, I could probably do something like that. Okay, I'll keep that in mind then. Okay. There's, there's no way I'm gonna fucking change it. Edgiest man is not gonna sit with an uwu sword. All right. Well, I tried anyways. Uh, say. You said nothing much about the world needle before, correct? Like, you don't remember much on it? I never went to the world needle. You never went in there. You can't go into a solid structure. Well, did you... You're not you made... You have enough dynamite. <laughs> you never... Shut you never... <laughs> Shut <laughs> the fuck up. <laughs> Nitroglycerin is not okay in the hands of shiny a cobalt with a fucking issue. Give it to a new one. He'll be better with it. I promise. No, he won't. Alright, so... Um, so, you're... You never originated from the World Needle. But when no. you... But you do have materials comprised from it? Well, I think so. The metal here is different than what is found on the surface. Uh, whenever I was alive and stuck in the court of Boehm, well, they kept saying something about the material from the world needle being a lot more pure. Not entirely sure why, but um, they said it was uh, made from the sea elves whenever they first came over. Or whether or not they were actually uh, when they evolved into sea elves. I see. Alright, I have a couple, I have like maybe two or one more question left. Um, do you feel angry? Do you feel like you could go ahead and... Uh, I look around and whisper, <laughs> and whisper to the sword, kill people. I don't the weak people. 
I simply go store them and then pop them somewhere else. Like hell. So like a Pokemon trainer? I don't know what this Pokemon is. It's an old very it's a very old thing from my temple. Use Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I know. it's a well i mean i've said it's before even a new alarm that's what i'm saying the 80s are not dead <laughs> you guys are here before pokemon ever exists hey damn does the pokemon exist this is the fucking victorian period what the fuck do you think i think pokemon should fucking exist i'll make pokemon exist god damn it no so, well, I don't know what Pokemon is, but I do will uh, take things into bubbles and then pop them somewhere else. Currently, where? it is about 200 nautical miles. You send them 200 you miles know away? Miles are. I do. Seems... That's where I was linked. I'm linked to a portal. So you send them through a portal. Don't mind the screaming in the background. <laughs> that sounded like an actual elephant. <laughs> that was my brother-in-law. Jesus. Uh, so you're saying that... Is he good? Literally? He's fine. He's playing with little man. I send them to the old world. Wait, what? You what? send them to the old... that. One other world place. Mm -hmm. I mean the one with the one with the buffaloes. Mm -hmm. The one with this when the humans came, they came through a portal. This is really fucking hard to do. Holy shit! <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I made this NPC. I have to suffer now. Alrighty. Yeah. The suffering goes both both ways. But yeah, when they did. They came to a Powodo, and the Powodo leads to this place called the Mamuda Triangle. Anulon just had a light bulb form in his head. Okay, so that's how that works. Okay. Do they ever. Can they ever come back? Of course. I only put them close to the portal. Sometimes they wash in, sometimes they wash out. Sometimes they're eaten by the world snake. The world serpent. Okay. The Mobius Dick. Yes, I'm aware of the name. Okay. You know what? This gives me an idea. Alright, so I don't like the appearance, but I can suck it up. I can kill you around and re-kill things, and you can put them through that portal. How's that sound? Sounds all okay, as long as uh, I don't kill nobody. Um... I just put see, them in a place that they might come back, they might not. The last time that has happened, you have been quite drained of energy. <laughs> <laughs> I can't fucking do anything this else. <laughs> Who screams? That is my brother-in-law, and that is whenever he reacts to it, little bit running up next to him in a game. Um, he go, uh, she, uh, well, they go. That's only if I use my pointer attack, or also okay. known as the rubber dub scrub away. Hmm. Okay. I can bubble things a lot faster and a lot easier. The rubber bub scrub away actually just takes them out of existence by transforming them back into mana. Wait, are you trying to scientifically <laughs> explain how the powers work? Yes! Fuck yeah. you! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that changes a couple things. What's the comment? So I won't be able to carry you around all the time. Some jobs my own that requires not sending people through a portal to the other world where the buffaloes are. I'll use you in specific terms. 
in exchange for one thing. Well, I'm just mainly because I want to at least grow a little bit more with you since, well, I mean, actually, where's Adalia? I Adalia ask. is in her room with Shiny. Yeah. Maybe she would is, actually is, like Is Adalia like... getting Uwu sword? You know what? Oh, this, does, this this person oh. does not this suicide does not like attacking people. I will kill the fuck out of somebody. She's a pacifist. All right, maybe at some other time. But uh, let me see if I have a. Why am I gonna cast a spell? I'm just gonna go up to Dahlia's room and knock on the door. Uh, uh, uh come in. I open the door. Enter in. Um. Uh, hello there, Dahlia. Ah, good morning. I'm sorry for this. It's uh interruption i was just thinking oh, no, and talking all... with talking with the sword and i was going to propose hey, a gift to you i i oh, oh, oh. You, oh you... i'm so sorry <laughs> let me explain <laughs> so very long ago um honestly in our humble beginnings um, um in this journey we encountered uh, or well some friends long ago I, encountered a. I, I'm I'm sorry. My apologies. Do spare me the story, but um. <laughs> you found a magical sword that talks and makes you look like you belong in some type of cartoon, very fancied up, and it doesn't need for killing. It just wants sometimes, if you wish it to, send people away. No, we're dangerous. Just send them away. But it's a sword? You doesn't... With a soul inside it, it doesn't like to attack people. So as long as you don't use it to stab anyone, you okay. two can mutually benefit. So... Oh, okay. I suppose that's fair enough. Here, watch. Um, first let me just talk. I want to talk about the sword. Sword, you're gonna love uh, Medallia here. Would it be fine if you part ways again in exchange for someone that's honestly a much more suited fit? That sounds fine. Wonderful. I offer up the sword to Adalia. Um, Adalia is just gonna gently take the sword and, um, look at it. Um, hello? Hi! Oh, you do talk. Okay, hello. I do. Uh, what is your name? Many people have called me Uwu Sword. There was one person that gave me a name, though I can't remember it because she's not here. Hmm, well, I'm sorry about that. I guess I can call you Uwu for short. I'm Adelia. Well, hello, Adelia. <laughs> Oh, I don't believe I have any more. Oh no, I do have a space on my belt. Okay. Okay, I'll be what? right with you. You just see a puff of pink, like glitter, just come out of the sword and envelop you, <laughs> and you can feel like something moving in the mist. You have witty, witty hair. Oh, why? Thank you. But you're short in these. Cause might need a little bit of power. Commit multiple war crimes. Uh, I normally um. I I I at this point uh, because of how I grew up, I grew a little tired of fanciful things and details. Don't worry, I'll be your personal stylist. Oh dear, not again. Oh, shiny, shiny just sees Idelia get the sword and immediately become enveloped in pink smoke. Like, shit, this never happened before. What the fuck? <laughs> don't, shiny, don't like this. Shiny, don't like cold. Shiny, no, no like pretty stuff. <laughs> well, uh. I suppose I think you Shiny, it is also fucking chilly. It is below freezing. Not in your room. Your room is just below comfortable. Like it's Shiny cold, but blanket. if you put on if you put on a blanket, it's too hot. Okay. Shiny uh puts on half a blanket. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no, it, why I not? 
Wait, you, basically he ties a blanket around his shoulders like a cape. That way he can- A very play. three year old thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When the hell was Shiny born? <laughs> three years ago. Fuck you. Oh. Is it his birthday today? <laughs> I'll make it his birthday. Fuck you. Do you want the birthday dungeon again? I'm joking. I'm joking. No. I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, birthday dungeon again. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I love how we have such varying degrees of. Dude, I've been there before. That shit slaps, dude. Granny oh, Pumba was amazing. No. no. The birthday dungeon, I've been in there. Granny Pumba. Mm. Mwah, chef's kiss. I loved it. Horrifying. Nah, you're fine. Don't. The only reason Method wanted those cupcakes was because they were dangerous and could be kept as a pet. Yes, no, and couldn't. Granny Pumpa literally drank herself to pass out from trench wine. And do you wonder why she carried it over? Yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> Shit slaps. Shit does slap. Alright. I'm actually tuning into the, uh, into the stream. Ah! Oh. No. All our secrets can now be revealed. Oh no, my secrets. The fact that I... You get this. <laughs> Fuck you. Anyway. Alright. All right. So, the pink glitter smoke dissipates, and Idalia, your clothes have been repaired, and your hair is put up. Into, like, a bun of pigtails, ponytail? Yes, all of the above. Oh, it's no, a please. braided oh. bun. Oh, okay, that, that's that's not too bad. If it was pigtails, I was gonna have a problem, but... <laughs> Idalia is gonna just, like, t touch the braided bun and, and be like, Oh, that's... Oh, that's actually quite nice. Thank you. No problem. Also, I took the liberty to prepare your clothes... And, and took your measurements. I will be back. Moment, how are we? Oh, yeah. I think... Well, actually, I can't hear that. No, you can't she, hear that. What is she talking to you about now? I feel like she... Every uh, time I feel like I offer that sword up to someone else, she always... Or they always smack talk the fuck out of me. Uh... She, the... Who said... Um, who said she... They took my measurements and are going to be back momentarily? Oh, you're gonna love that. Watch. Or look at your clothes anyways when she's they're done. Oh, okay. It's a very slow transformation, but uh, the pink smoke ups <laughs> it seems like Uhu Sword is very happy to have an another female to like dress up because it is this is the most active it's actually been in like two months. Like dead ass. Yeah. <laughs> No one's talked to this thing in two months, and it's sad. But now it has a constant conversation with this guy. Then yep. with the Suwu. Uh, right. I don't think it's a guy. It is a dude, well, but as a female, okay. it's trans. Uh, I I was oh, unsure of the pronoun. <laughs> That's why we say she, they, them. they, them. Sometimes it refers to her it, as her, never as him. And there's I a am. reason for that. I am. It's not a trans sword, it's a twans sword. It's a twans sword! Fucking hair. Anyway, the pink, uh, the pink mist happened. Well, it's not a mist this time, it's opaque pink bubbles. They obscure Idelia for a split second, and whenever it comes back, Idelia. You, your clothes have been transformed into not the usual, like, ooh la la cartoon bubblegum. Instead, it's actually transformed into an elegant nightgown. Okay, that's interesting. And with, it's like, a... warm, fuzzy shawl. That... Is it, like, suitable for going outside, though? Not right said, now, like, but, like, it's interesting that the Uwu Sword has picked this, because usually it's been doing bubblegum pink uh, shenaniganery with the guys. This <laughs> is a most huh? interesting predicament. This actually has never happened to any of us before. Alright, you're something oh, special to the sword now. Thank you, Uwu. 
No problem. I wanted to try something different because your figure actually does not su is not suitable for the what I do to the boys. I suppose that's fair. Though it does seem that you've actually been in contact with something like me before. Not exactly me, but someone like me. Ooh. One that actually enjoys lace and bows. Oh, you must be talking about my teacher then. She was very oh. powerful. Uh, I owe it all to my teacher, really. Anyway, I'll try and do into something different here. And the pink bubbles appear once again. <laughs> because she's like being changed in the middle of the room with two guys. There's going to be an obscurity filter because this is, a, this is not... <laughs> P oh, this know, is a PG D and D, even though we have a lot of blood. Yeah, lots of pink bubbles. Thank you, Boo Boo, for the privacy curtains. I probably should have looked away my turn. Apologies. And, and um, you are actually now dressed in a very cute pink and blue and white, uh, like fluffy poncho that is covering a what looks to be more in line with the style that Uwu Sword has been displaying. A uh, fuzzy dress with fuzzy shoes and you have a small little fuzzy hat on top. Oh, thank you, Uwu. No problem. If you need another dress, just say. Alright, I, I will. Um, I'm just gonna put like, Uwu like, put Uwu's sheath like, on my belt. Alright, Uwu have... Sword is a... Uh, you do have proficiency in this weapon. Okay, I'm proficient It's a rapier. <gasps> Uwu's a rapier. Mm -hmm. And I know bards and a lot of other classes do have proficiency in rapiers due to it being a simple martial. Or just a simple weapon. Okay. You're welcome for the short level or the rapier anyways. I think it's like right now 1d one 1d6 one plus 2? Is it a Thank plus 2 better. weapon? Uh, yes. It's a okay. plus 2 weapon. Okay. I figured. You got a god weapon right there. Go ahead. Plus 2? Fuck yeah. It's been around <laughs> in your party long enough to get on, to know you guys and plus she's already a Okay, the difference between Daphne and Idelia. Idelia is a smoother frame than Daphne. Daphne was a barbarian, but a royal barbarian. So she was more chunk. Idelia is a moon elf bard. She is more. She is not as chunk. She's still and then an inventor. Shiny, who is the baby. Shiny is gremlin. And then Nulon's too edgy for the sword. <laughs> yeah, basically. There's like no other way around it. I'm See, just so uh so here's the thing. If Idelia gets the sword, it's a magical girl, right? Yeah. If Shiny gets the sword, it's Carla from uh Demons from Arumakun. And if you know if you get that joke, you get that joke. If Anulon gets the sword, then it's just any edgy magical girl show, you know? You know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, pick and your it's favorite. Magical? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is. Fuck you. <laughs> so, it's just, it, it just depends on how cursed you want to be. That's a yikes. It's just a yike. Alright, well, I'm done here, and then I'm just gonna... Alright, so, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm just gonna get the hell out of it. Yeah, okay, I'm done. Downstairs uh, starts to sound, smell like a brewery. I am the breaking the... Call it the Uwu it's Adelia's gonna get herself some breakfast. You know what? Yeah, see, see Eric gets well. my reference. Because <laughs> of course he does. For yeah. me. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Alright, breakfast time. Oh, shoot. I'm petting Atticus. I'm gonna do that now. Every yep. single night. And oh, yeah, I'm gonna, pet, uh, I'm gonna pet Platinum. He's still around. He's vibing. Alright, Platinum vibrates like a V8 engine. Nice. Oh, hell. 
That's why it's not like a V4 engine. Other we'd have is. I can't believe I'm gonna turn platinum into a motorcycle. <laughs> I'm glad you got my reference. V fours are usually reserved for lawnmowers. You cannot go be uh, below a V four, like legally. So, uh, V sixes yeah, uh, are in most cars. V eights are in uh, a lot of more high performance cars, and V twelves, which do exist are for high, high-performance cars, usually with... I'm gonna smack a V12 into Platinum and turn, it in, turn him into a freaking... Like this a bad boy can fit so much bullshit in it. Yeah. Actually, I could probably slap a V12 into Copper. Yeah, copper you can. Copper is yeah, not I'm there. Turn copper into a motorcycle. Copper's not there. Uh, wait, what? Yeah. Um, I'd like my, I would like my class ability, please. He's active. He's around. He's just not in your line of sight. I go look for him. Copper! Copper! My oh boy, please. Copper, come, come back to me. Nope. Roll me a perception check. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. remember, you gave this boy sentience. Uh, right. I forgot about that. <laughs> You're the dumbass that decided, mm, yes, my uh, my steel protector needs sentience. I, I wanted it to get 12 levels. I did not anticipate sentience. <laughs> you gave it class levels, dipshit. Actually, you just said 12 levels. You didn't say of what. Yeah, like, I didn't say that I wanted class level. <laughs> Too bad, it's so sad. Welcome to Wishspell. Uh, yeah, Wish about the canter, let's open it up. Ding. A piece of ice just went up my nose. 19. Where the hell did you. Oh, there, there it is. Okay. Ow. That was cold. Um, yeah. No. It's. It's outside. Oh, dude just messaged me. I'm so sorry. Oh, okay. It's okay, dude. <laughs> Uh, he's, oh, he just got off of work. Uh, yeah, okay. that, that's understandable, honestly. Mm -hmm. Like, crap happens. Crap happens. It happens. And sometimes yeah. the crap is to happening. Alright. I mean, it do happen, though. It do be what it do It be. is what it is. Welcome, it Alexander. It is what it is. I gotta say, like, every single time. It's what it is. Why are hey, there no takers here? The Thank no you, taker God. is here. You're welcome. Anyway. Hey, no takers. So, Copper, you actually glance him, uh, you, like, quickly glance out the window, and you actually see Copper talking with... Puck. Get him out of here. No, I'm going... <laughs> I My divine knowledge doesn't mean nobody exists. I smack exists. open the window and be like, Copper, no! <laughs> Copper looks back. Kind of does like a bowing gesture and then trots back. What? What do you want? <laughs> Creepy man, bad. No talk. That's my patron, dumbass. Wait, wait. I'm a oh warlock, dipshit. <laughs> Shiny does not know this. I know this. Hold on. Get on a line over here. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> No, do not bring me. <laughs> Hear that blasted fucking puck. Shiny gremlin The pu puck up. disappears. <laughs> oh, thank you, God. Okay, yeah, I'm fine now. Okay, I see you soon now. I see Shiny. Oh, Shiny, hello. Ask him what a warlock is. What warlock? <laughs> You've seen me <laughs> as a warlock so many times before. And you started to realize that you don't know what your companion is, right? Like what he did turned not, into? Did not know. You didn't know your Sh companion. Shiny, over here, over here, over here. L looks over. He turns, his <laughs> he turns his head up straight and does Eldritch Blast via his mouth. Oh, I wanted to do that. God damn it, Copper. You know what? I'm gonna do it too. Ah! 
You're inside the tavern! I can't I'll do believe it. that my, that my dog it. is here's, not here's how, I'll do here's how I'll do it. I'll go outside, you, I and the fucking you. cold, and I'll just cast down in the air, just... No, you just see Alexander wake the fuck up and just Oh, cut. no, Alexander, <laughs> you wake up at the sound of boom. A few seconds later, boom. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking little shit. Is it bad that part of me really wants whatever the heck this thing called the Ring of Winter is? <laughs> oh, now the Ring of Winter. You want to fucking freeze to death, bitch? Give it to me. freeze you. It freezes everyone else. Well, I have to get the you wrong one. Anyway, continue. You, you see our Alexander just getting down to the first floor of the tavern, just fucking pissed off, like saying, What the fuck are you You see doing? Shiny eagerly and happily at a window as he just figured out that his, his steel protector, or whatever the fuck it is, steel can. Guardian, steel Guardian? Yeah, whatever the fuck it is. Just. Explode energy from its mouth. Copper is Godzilla. Copper is Godzilla. <laughs> I'm gonna need Godzilla. I'm gonna need a better explanation before I put three of you in the time up corner. <laughs> hey, I tell you, it's just eating food. Like, what the fuck you on? Also, I tell you, it is <laughs> toast with like the creamiest fucking eggs that you've ever had on it. With like a oh, dollop of like. <laughs> A dollop of uh, to the four other people that are in that the is, chat, that I see is, you. That is amazing. I am. That, that's Mimi. amazing. I'm, I'm gonna. Won't go. Mimi won't go give it. Can I? Can I give a tip for for the yeah. good food? Yeah, you can. Oh. All right. All right. How much was the original price? Uh, the you got it for free because of your background. Okay, then, um... Well, I'll she's the back. only one that does, because she's a bard, and she, th she took that background. <laughs> uh, I still want some bread key. I'll pay for it. You know what? I'll, uh... I'll, I'll pay... I'll pay a five copper tip. Is that okay? Yeah, that's copper? fine. That's fine. I gotta look up fucking meal prices again. Fuck! That's okay. Well, that's I'm wizard! Thinking, I'm actually gonna converse with Alexander and explain to him the situation. <clears throat> So, you are you are still sleeping, and I don't want to wake you up. Um, well, I mean, I feel like you'd have been angry with me if I woke you up uh, with your beauty sleeper, at least what, whatever your sleep would be called. It's three copper for a uh, meal that Idalia had. If you want more, good luck. It'll cost no. you. No. How can I exchange a gold piece for copper? Just, I just, did you see Alexander just go through his fucking uh, wallet? Do you want Man, 97 gonna... fucking. <laughs> do you no, want no, 99? I, no, I, I, I just give him the copper. I just give him the copper. Leave the fuck alone, the gold piece. I, we're not. Can I, like, I, I, I get that you always want to, like, help out in these things, but can I at least handle these things myself for once? I'm just doing some simple exchange because I don't the have any copper pieces. On? Or any silver pieces for that matter. I simply just want to exchange. Oh, <laughs> some... oh okay, and she's gone. I heard that noise too. I was genuinely scared for my life. Like, what is It's just three copper pieces. And Man, the... can I pay for myself? Second of all, I, I think you are need to making sure to tr track of your money. Why am I the only one making sure of that? I literally have right, track of my money. Door. I have 43 gold pieces and one platinum piece. I got- I have my money tracked. There's I just no have- There's no way y'all do not have a copper piece. I literally- I have never once exchanged anything for silver or copper pieces. I've only been able to spend or get gold pieces and I got one platinum piece. Never once to exchange copper or silver. And I want to do that. I don't care how many copper pieces I'm gonna have in my hand. I just want to exchange some money. Please. I don't how many copper pieces would I get if I were to exchange one gold piece? Multiply ninety-nine times ninety-nine. And there's your answer. How many for silver? Well, 99 times 100, and then a nut, then like a 98, well, 97. 
that. Wow, man. Okay, this is kind of yikes. I'm gonna. That, that's why I said just. He had I'll just copper. take the three cold pieces and I'll just pay for copper, the meal copper, with them. Copper. Copper. Uh, the, the, the three, okay, three copper pieces. And I'll just. Oh, what's well, learning that? <laughs> I'm just like. Oh, fucking You're fine. I pay with the three copper pieces handed to me by Alexander. Thank you, Alexander. And yeah, I pay, and then I got my meal. You fuckers don't know how economics work, and it's I do know how economics work. I just, <laughs> I just didn't think. That, I mean, of course, gold pieces were always going to offer so many other coins. Look, I've grown up in a temple. Oh, I think all right, I, the PFPs this time. He's Alexander in front of a black uh, whiteboard. With the word economics on it, with Anilan holding his head in his hands. I'm telling you right now, we up in a temple. I'd assume so anyways. I got All knowledge right. of economics. Alright, let's fucking... You know what? It's too early for me to fucking explain how the fuck conversion works. And how I can explain to you what happened, and we can skip past this. I'm literally waiting for it. Oh, okay. Um... Shiny didn't realize that Copper was uh, is a warlock to the Forbidden One. I'm not going to speak the name. And yes, we know. Yo, mama. <laughs> and so um, Copper did it through visualization. I wanted to do it because Shiny asked Thanks, me. Zodiac. Copper, but Copper already did it, so I just kind of did it outside. Casting did. Eldritch Blast. We casted Eldritch Blast. Did. Uh, I can't believe that Anuwan jerked off outside. <laughs> oh my Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just got it and came back. <laughs> I waste eight sorcery points. Banish should... should... this one. asshole! <laughs> no, come on. I'm joking, I'm joking. He's doing I the jest, best. I jest, I jest. Unless. <laughs> <laughs> So, yes, also, um, uh, just to keep you filled in, I guess, for some party events, I guess you can say, I gave Adalia the Ulu sword. It's in her camera. Alexander, if you look over to Adalia, you can obviously tell the Ulu sword is in her possession, because rather than the normal adventuring clothes that sh she had, she now has fucking frilly clothes, and dress, and poncho, and little tiny hat, and fuzzy boots. You no, know what? I've you always know. had it, but I've never unsheathed it. When I did, it happened. So I just coughed it up to her. Plus, it actually is pretty good uh, chemistry, for lack of better words. Yeah. Uh, Idalia, and I just like I just and I try to face her. Uh, Idalia, how you fed the sword? Oh, oh! I didn't realize. Ooh, we got hungry. I'm sorry. Ooh, okay. would you like something to eat? That will be nice! Do you, right, if you guys you like remember what Uwu sword actually eats? Wasn't it yeah. like just sparkles and some shit? Or am I like going insane? Act it was actual food. Well like, oh. we go back then, I fed it cheese. Uh, come upstairs, I'll I'll take a wallet. I don't want the... cheese this time. What do you want? want? You don't hear this! <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, so you don't want cheese. What would you, what would you like, Uwu? Well, wherever I was alive, I like, I, I like toast and eggs. Only one. Okay, I'll I'll see if I I'll see if I can order another plate of toast and eggs. Okay. It's it's no problem. I'm just gonna wave to the to whoever's working behind the counter and ask for another plate of toast and eggs. All right, come and make up. Thank you. Lucky. Did you say nothing. something? Nope, nothing. Uh, okay. If you don't mind me, I'm just gonna go prepare the horses since I'm guessing we're gonna. Oh, drive. you should, be, yeah, secure the horses. Be careful. Um, from blizzard. what I've gathered in information, yes, a blizzard Dark is. Cold. Blizzard is about to occur, well, I mean, like the next day, but it is definitely getting cold. Around maybe 28 or so degrees out. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> Alright. I do just see Alexander just pull up his scarf that he got from Green Hall, and then... Oh, I should take a walk after breakfast. 
And then I was, uh, when I, when I go outside, how cold does it feel? Like, I guess. It, okay. So, it's a lot, it's a little colder than freezing. It's not, minus 2 degrees centigrade, aka 28.4 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's like, a mega chilly day. But it's Full dry cold. So it's not too bad. It's just whenever the wind blows, it's like, fuck, it's cold. Basically. Well, Chinese wearing a blanket cape. Well, luckily I have this spell. Fire shield. So once the dust next, yeah. how exactly do I feed Uwu? You just kind of put the stuff on the sword and the sword just kind of whips yeah, it up, I guess. Yeah, you unironically just like just place some food near the sword and it just like and it just out. munch food magic <laughs> magic well, munch well once the it. eggs arrive i shall place food <laughs> i shall i shall give it to uwu accordingly all right can a real suit of armor stop a bullet no if the Next bullet question. is shitty enough yeah Ooh, insane mad lad I mean, it, it, okay, yeah, opinion, I looked at fire shield, fire shield, shield, fire shield will warm. actually do that, yep. Yeah, I, I make sure it hides. Yeah, I just, the I've never seen fire perfect. shield used like that, so like. It's, it's fine, it's fine. If you Maybe. constantly use press digitation, would it work? <laughs> you have to, you have to, but the thing is, you can ignore the DM for that. Plus it's DM, warm. could you constantly use press digitation to warm yourself? Plus, it's kind of uh, it would be warm. It would like one foot cube, and that's like, and my character's like, you know what, like almost six cubes foot. So that would just be unknown. Like, okay, presentation, 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 and next minute presentation. So like, no. I mean, it is a cantrip. It is. You can it show. Is a oh, it's like it's it a fire. It but no, it doesn't say like. Okay, so. No, I think you can only use it. I think that's I mean, that's I'm, for food, dude. That's non-living material. I know, I know. Uh, I'm mostly just memeing. No, it's non-living material. So technically, you, you can do clothes. Yeah, technically, but at the same time, you have to spam it, which is just gonna get annoying. So just you can just do it on the most important parts of you, so you don't like die just... out. And if when the other part kind of starts getting cold, you just bam right there. That's how I'm gonna do it. Keep I'll your pants and so undies coat. Fucking matter anymore. Steve, and I just, start, <laughs> I, just, and I just start wearing the horses. Alright. Yeah. Anyways, fucking. That's, I'm outside. Alright, All right. is Uwu happy with breakfast? Uwu appreciates the meal. And you do not have to clean the sword because everything disappears. With a. Alright, I guess that means um, once breakfast is done, Adalia's gonna go on a walk through a town. In the cold? You're fucking insane. I'm actually quite warm in this outfit. That's. You know what? Good for you. And besides, the weather's clear for a good while. Why not take the chance? You. Oh, shoot the forge! Mm -hmm. Alright. I'll be back before the blizzard, though. I... Shiny! The forge! We have to go there! Forgot! We, uh... Oh, I have the decanter. Remember that. Why don't you just make potion of... Heat, of very slight heat? <laughs> I'm scared of this thing. I don't I'm, have... I'm like, I'm scared for Give some it. of this... No! Because I need to test a couple things out. I'm going outside very quickly. Onto the side. I'm going to ca I'm cast. I'm going to say to the decanter, Molten Gold. All right. I'm very scared for what's going to happen. I'm ready to drop it. All right. I'm ready to drop it. It Let's is. It feels toasty to the touch. But not boiling hot? Not until you... <laughs> Do you want to start pouring that shit? Uh, <laughs> I'm casting. Do I have it? Do I have it? I, I'm casting Mage Hand. Okay. Hold, the hold of the decanter, and then start slightly pouring it 
just little drop um in a space where it isn't gonna hurt so funny. all right so where are you doing this i'm just wanted to test if it's literally going to be gold are or... you are you outside are you in the tavern Outs oh, I'm, I'm outside okay in the cold i'm trying to be like far away and trying to do this in such an odd spot that no one would even dare to walk in there i have a plan in case someone actually can or is going to we have gained another spectator hello hi hello hi ass all right so you do this you float it away from you and you see it start to pour it is indeed molten gold but as soon as it starts to hit the cold air and the snow you start hearing all right i stopped pouring i'm done pouring like i just like immediately like lift it up and say you have a I'm small here. nugget of cooling gold it's not, not hot enough it's still too hot to hold but it is rapidly chilling all right that's all the information i need i'm just gonna say that just because i don't want to say molten uh gold um Orange juice. I say it to the decanter. Orange goose. The... Orange, I said orange juice, but if it came out as goose, man. Orange goose. Orange goose. Orange goose. Yeah, so. Um, so you, uh, you pour it back out, and suddenly it is orange juice. But it comes oh. out and hits the cold and starts to solidify as it is cold and below freezing. All right. I just I close. I make sure that it doesn't reach it. Canter. I just close up the decanter, and now we're gonna bury this. I'm gonna cast. What the fuck? Uh, give me a second, my brother's calling. It says sound from. All right, shiny and Idelia, and also, <laughs> okay, Alexander. Uh, shiny's going to the forge. Idelia, what are you doing? I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> I'm gonna take a small stroll through town. I just want to do this real quick. And, uh, you know, may maybe take the chance to get to know Uwu better. Hey. Uh, Alright, so Alexander, what are you doing currently? Uh, if I'm done tending the horses, I'll just Hi, check, I'll just follow Shiny to the forge. Alright. It's not, it's kind of hard to see, but uh, Shiny, you're going to have to ride either Platinum or copper, and platinum is sitting very close to the fire, warming himself. So platinum is a cold dragon. Yeah. It's still a kid. It's still a baby. I'm gonna Not bury the shit. Uh, I'm going to uh, ride copper. All right. So you see the dragon baby on top of the warlock demon dog. And, yeah. and on the very top, there's a small gremlin child. No, the, the dragon baby is you. You is uh, baby. Enough. You. <laughs> you made a three-year-old. <laughs> to be fair, he is an adult. It, it to be fair, he's also a cobalt. So. In cobalt stand standards, <laughs> and, he is and adult. Lord. Hold up! Is anyone seeing me doing what I was doing? I, 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 you, if you were outside, I might have. I'm outside. You saw Omawan slip off to do something. <laughs> oh my god, I just realized something. Oh, how did you just realize? Shiny is a Wally character. Okay, yeah, you need to stop. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> You are actually... We lost Alexander. Alright, Idelia. <laughs> so you're walking around, the temperature is starting to drop. What the fuck did I just touch? Sorry. Um, you uh, you walk past Alexander, and you see that uh, you see that everyone's basically huddled down because this may or may not be a massive blizzard, as Amalon said. Hmm. So it's getting chillier. Um. <laughs> I'm gonna guess no shops are open, but are there any shops open? There are some shops open, but they're like emergency open. Got emergency open. 
So I presume chances are I can't sell the rapier that is not Uwu. I mean, you can. There is a weapon shop owner that is currently... He looks to be closing up his shop, but if you're quick enough, you can. Alright, I'm gonna just, uh... Just, uh, hop, hop, hop and skip over there and, uh, see if I can catch his attention. Alright, are you going to yell? Are you going to <laughs> scream? Or what, what are you doing? <laughs> no, I'm just gonna... Excuse me! Oh. What can I do you uh, for? Sorry for the, uh, bad timing and such, but I was wondering if I could sell something? Uh, I was just about to close up shop, but, uh, sure. What are you selling? I could probably uh, I'm gonna sell take out my bag. other rapier, not Uwu. I'm gonna take out my soulless rapier and just say, I have to get, I have to have uh, gotten a friend recently, and I was thinking, I'll also get a price for this one here. Well, I unfortunately can't exactly uh, sell it to you for just any price. All prices are usually uh, union mandated, so. Uh, 25 gold pieces seems to be about the going rate for a rapier. I can give you 20 and like a couple of daggers if that's okay. Uh, th just the 20 gold is fine. Oh, uh, okay. Here you go. He hands you the 20 gold and he takes the rapier. Thank you very much, sir. No problem. Stay inside. The blizzards are usually pretty bad around here. All right. I hope, I hope your family's well. It's yeah. I, I hope right. they are too. Uh, Dahlia is gonna, uh, gonna walk away now. All right, he's going to uh, nod and in, and in disappear into what looks to be a smaller, uh, smaller door on the side of his shop. All right. I'm just gonna put the put the twenty gold away and. Uh, as I'm walking back to the tavern, I'm just gonna look to Oo and say, "So, uh, now that, now that I think about it, we should probably get to know each other a little better. Do you have any questions for me?" Well, I do have some, mostly about <laughs> your why your memory is like that. Oh, I'm not sure either. Actually, I can't remember why my memory is like this. <laughs> Do you happen to meet someone in the middle of a forest? I... I suppose? It's... it's... a little blurry, actually. Oh, you might have fallen victim to the Furbogs. The... the who? All beautiful creatures that like to stay hidden. <laughs> Pathophists like you. But whenever they show up around in... Around, they usually hide themselves in the forest. They're said to be kind of like shepherds with the trees. Mm. That could explain some things, actually. I've never seen a Fobo take away memory, so you must have been there for a long time. Oh, probably. Honestly, though, my main concern is finding my pseudo-dragon. Don't know what the pseudo wagon is, but I hope you find whatever it is. All right, so those They're who are going in person, you might like them. I hope so. All right, those mm -hmm. who are going to the forge, I'm going to need some fun little checks from you two. I'm going to need athletics as you are fighting against the oncoming snow. Shiny, that means you too. Wait, wait, wait. Should, uh, do I gotta make a roll? Yep, you do too. If any of y'all are going to the forge, wait. <laughs> I have to do. No, no, please. no, me, please. I just, I just legit snapped back to real. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Do it's a Monday. Roll? You have to roll athletics due to the fact of the growing snowdrift. Athletics. Oh no. Mm -hmm. I'm scared. 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 Oh my god. I'm so scared. Oh my god, I'm not 20. I'm gonna eat shit. I'm gonna eat shit. <laughs> Dude, I'm going to shit for bed. 
What? <laughs> I have the no fucking strength, right? camera bitch. I'm going to piss uh, Athletics is pants. just pure strength, right? Yeah, athletics is strength. Athletics, athletics is, strength. is strength, yes. I'm gonna, I'm I got gonna... a net 20, I'm so happy. Can I just cast Firewall and ignore this? Uh, since you are casting Firewall, you do have advantage. <laughs> Not Firewall, Fireball, but you know... You fireball, you a madman? Yes. Yeah, I can't you are doing that. fire shield, flame shield, right? Yes, I'm doing flame shield. What's the duration of flame shield? Uh, actually, ten minutes. Yeah, you'll be fine. What do, what? Just roll me with advantage, bitch. Okay. <laughs> Just do the roll. God damn it. Oh. I I guess I just slip. Uh, I guess I just like slip on some snow. Can I help him? What the fuck? <clears throat> you have no modifier right. or something? There's no modifier. There's no modifier. Anyway, oh. so Snown and Analon. Snown, uh, well, sorry, Shiny, because you don't have your fucking name change here yet. Uh, Shiny, you get around pretty easily due to the fact that you're writing something. Analon, you were, you're... Due to the bullshit of Asimars, you just kind of float on top of the snow for right now. I float? It, you know how, like, Lord of the Rings, the elves oh. are lighter than... Uh-huh. Yeah, that bitch. And Alexander... Tea posing through the cold wind. While the, <laughs> the flame shield does help with the snow, unfortunately all the melt starts to to freeze again right underneath your feet so your shoes get sl sloshed slushed and frozen so it's kind of hard for you to continue moving on because your feet are getting cold how, how far is okay what's the distance between the forge and i uh you're you this is all on the way to get to the forge Okay, which I'll... is the uh, underneath the old church. The area underneath the old near the old church seems to have a lot of melt next to it. The area inside the old church seems to be nice and toasty. I was I was kind of I was thinking of a plan, but like that works. Anyways, ooh, toasty. Very nice and warm. All right. All right, so all three of you there. Idalia just mm -hmm. kind of vibing, hope, vibing around I... around the area. Yeah, I, ho I hope I made it back to the tavern all right. Yeah. Oh, wait, she's not. No, she's got to come. Do I risk going back together? Does she even want to go? I'm going to go ask. Before I'm going in that forge, I'm going back to the tavern to see if Idalia's in there. Alright, I'm gonna need another athletics. <laughs> you know what? That's okay. That's alright. I got an 11. So it's a little hard as the snow keeps piling up, but yes, you get back to the tavern. And you do see Idelia in there. Hello, Adelia. Oh, hello, Nulon. Um, we're going over to the forge. <laughs> I'm a giraffe. <laughs> Um, we're going over to the forge, um... Oh? Uh, do you need me to come with? I mean, it's more just if you would want to. Yeah, I haven't seen it before, and it's quite interesting. There's dragon eggs in there. Oh, um, well... But isn't the blizzard coming soon? Yeah, but it's much more hotter in there than... You more than, like, find it nice in the, uh... <laughs> the den, rather than here. Yes. Uh, oh, okay. Ooh, do you, what are your thoughts on this? A new way always warm more in here. Uh, alright then. Let's go. Alright. We walk into, we both walk into the porch now. Athletics. I'm not very good at athletics. Oh, goodness. Can I give? No, I can't even. I gotta look. Alright. Gray. A 17. Alright. 
Yep. Okay. <laughs> so, on a you basically step in your own footsteps as you go through. Um, Idalia, it's a little bit harder for you. As this is... Uh, it, the snow is pretty high up there now. It is about a foot. Hmm. Okay, I'll, I'll have to... I'll, I'll, I'll try to keep hurrying through. Because the sooner I'm about that forward, the better. And the less snow I'll have to go through. All right. We make it to the forge, or at least we make it to. All right. I hope we make it to the forge. Yes, you do, with some difficulty, not a lot. All right, I look at Adeli. Just follow me. I'll show you the forge, and I go make my way to the forge. I know where it's. Adeli is gonna follow. All right. Hell yeah. So inside the old church, it is nice and toasty. All four of you are there. Hell yeah, dude. The <clears throat> little stairwell well down to the goblin holes, which hold the forge, uh, seems to be radiating heat. And a strange scent of what smells to be rosemary and, like, thyme and herbs. I can't believe that thyme has a smell. Thyme has a smell. No, I'm talking about time with an I. What? Time. Time. Fuck you. Yeah, no, I know. It's, it's a joke. Time it's has okay. a time. It's called dust. Anyway. <laughs> oh, so ass to ass is dust to dust. We're cooking the eggs. No, no. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> it smells like a whole bunch of herbs. They're cooking the eggs. I knew it. They're All right, Are you guys going down? Yeah, I can't, yeah. I'm you go gonna... down in there and you notice that there are a lot more tunnels. It looks like there is a network underneath the entire city. That oh, I say city. Me. I mean town, not even a village at this point. But, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, and... I know that you mentioned there were dragonites. Oh! Yes. Hi, Anulan! Hi, guys! You see um, hello, a different goblin this time. Oh, hello, you actually Bob brought Bob. someone new! It's not Boblin the goblin. Shiny What's crawls that? all over Anulana and it's just like, gimme, gimme, gimme. This is Boblin. No, 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 we're not doing this just yet. Gimme. Just, why don't you just put it away in your magical portal that you have? Oh, yeah, I could do that. <laughs> I, pull out the, I, pull, I pull out the mirror and I just put it, I put Where? the... Where? Why? The I... And then... Well, see, the thing is, it'll be so easy. But Welcome to our midwinter. Unfortunately, it's bit. There's gonna be a couple of blizzards for a day, a couple of days. So, us goblins decided to tunnel in and actually open up our uh, little homes to the halflings. Oh, that's quite sweet. Heat stays down here a lot easier than it does in a halfling home, due to the fact of the mm -hmm. earth and earthen insulation. I see. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Adelia. It's wonderful to meet you, Miss Adelia. My name is Soblin. Soblin? Oh, that's actually quite cute. Thank you. I just can't stop sobbing. I'm... <laughs> I kind of have an, a, a unique thing with a lot of goblins. Some goblins have the unique uh, skills of, like, you know, forge working, metal working, chef. I'm actually what you guys would kind of be known no more as a cleric. Oh, that's lovely. Mm -hmm. I was half expecting him to be a bard who wrote sad poems. Or forge well, I domain, I presume. No! I'm actually an order cleric. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, I uh, I actually help down here with and up there, uh, keeping everything in line and uh, open up relations. Not enough to, you know, like do interbreeding, considering that's impossible. But, yeah. Well, I see. Anyway, you guys are welcome to come and join us for our midwinter. Um, it's a, we have some 
roast uh we have some roasted herb cookies and we've got some wonderful uh grain milk which are actu uh, both actual things. Oh, well, that is actually pretty nice. Oh, cookies. That actually sounds quite delicious. Oh, I'll, I'll have to give it a try. I'm starting to get hungry. God damn. You just ate breakfast. Oh, you mean IRL. IRL. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sookie has Anula has that eat. Technically, Anula has Well, even if we in just in a while. ate. You had <laughs> breakfast, dumbass. I literally well, said you had I breakfast mean, before that. Before that. Yeah, I guess. Okay. I, I, you know what? I think I have something. Well, uh, you know what? I'm just gonna go back up. I'm gonna go. Well, is that. Do you guys want. Are you guys still hungry for that? Or do you want me to make something for you guys? No. If you want I'm to go back to the tavern, we have it. We actually have a tunnel there. That would have been nice. Well, are you. Yeah. I literally just mentioned tunnels and you guys kind of spoke over me. I, I'm trying yeah, to learn this thing called manners. I, 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 oh, sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, it's I'm alright. Like, I, I kind of was asleep, so. That's perfectly fine. No, like I literally was asleep. Oh, also we kind of, uh, you might need to scrunch down because us goblins and the halflings are near enough in height that un that uh, like our tunnels aren't that big for tall folk like you. Solomon. All right. Understandable. But our hall our rooms are big enough for you guys. Um, all right. All right. Um, about those cookies. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, hold on. Let me call over Goblin. Goblin. You just see goblin. like a goblin with an oversized hat on waddle up. <laughs> yes. Yo. All right. Yo. This is Goblin. Uh, he'll be taking you, he points over to Alexander, back to the tavern! Wait, 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 wait. Mimi won't go forage. Oh, don't worry. Uh, I'll direct you guys to the for- Oh gosh, my voice. Ah. It's okay. I'll direct you guys over to the forge after I get Miss Idalia over to the cooking station. That's where we have all the herb cookies and the, the three grain milk. All right, you folks follow me, and you follow Noblin. I'm Noblin. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Um. Bye bye. Uh, Rat, I'm gonna have to say, if you're gonna post that, put spoilers on it, cause that is uh, that is PG thirteen. Oh. What did you put? What did you put? Yeah, I, I'll send it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it, it's PG thirteen. What? Don't, Don't worry, worry about it. it. It's okay. No, the child. Don't is worry crazy. about it. I cast one person. No, I'm one curious. Punishment. It's, it's okay. okay. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I cast banishment. My, banishment on myself. On my eyes. <laughs> Harassing. All right. Anyway. Anyway, I am following, uh... Soblin. Okay, yeah, okay. Alright, so, Noblin will take you back to the tavern. His hat is, like, makes him four foot tall, and it kind of scrapes the ceiling. So, uh, how's it up on the surface? Is it snowy? Oh, uh, it's quite snowy, actually. Oh, no, this is Snoblin to, uh, this is not Snoblin, it's Noblin to Alexander. Oh, okay, sorry. Oh, 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 oh this, this guy, huh. Um, well, there's a lot of regions, so it's kind of hard to explain, but it depends. Either it's very warm or very cold, it's sometimes very pretty, or sometimes very, well... More, well, gloom, but it just depends on where you're up. But I, generally, I meant like up there right now, like in the town. Oh, oh it's cold. Uh, <laughs> I figured a lot of the halflings have been saying that as well. I mean, yeah, winter is literally upon us, so nah, sorry, it's... I had to go tell children to shut. Okay, understandable. Well, you, you, 
Well, we live on the coast, and a lot of the humid air gets trapped onto the cold landmass, and it kind of just makes everything cold. And snowy. It's kind of snowy. I mean, yeah, that's... Uh, I mean, if I, if I wanted to, I can just, like, just waste a lot of spells just to, like, make sure it doesn't at least get... That snow can go away, but, like, I'm just gonna get too tired after each day. So Why don't you guys but buy winter gear? Well, <laughs> uh, I mean, I was planning to, but uh, right now I'm trying to, you know, save up for... And I just point back for those. I mean, they can buy it. I'm not. Stomblin looks, uh, Noblin looks back and goes, For racks? For, for the dragon egg. Oh! Jeanette put you up to it. Okay. I mean, yeah. And then, like, do you see Alexander just, like, pulled on his scarf? I kind of have a reason. Oh. Do, uh, Are you their first. cousin? Uh, Twice removed, on. perhaps? <laughs> Wait, hold on. Uh, no, it's that. I'm technically their half nephew, but it's more, but it's more complicated because dragon bullshit. Dragons. Uh, I don't know about dragons. Just gets worse. Wait, don't you have a chart? Like shrines for dragons, though. That dragon's been dead for how long, Adelon? Well, it's been dead for like a thousand years or something. Yeah. Maybe. How? But, a generation of goblins is how much? How much time does it take for a goblin to reach adulthood? Uh, it's it's short, very okay. short. It's like two years or something. I don't exactly. Know. Every generation <laughs> for two years. Two years. Two years, time. one generation. Actually, you know what? Let me check that. It, it is 20,000, 20,000. Oh my. Yeah. They're so, very uh, okay. Goblins mature uh, at around age 12, and they live for about 50 years. That's still every 12 years, there's another generation. So half. Yeah. 12 times 10,000 is. 120. That does not seem right. Hold anyway. So, yeah. Snoblin, uh, I keep putting an S in there. No. Noblin, uh, goes and opens up the door to an earthen staircase that leads up to the tavern. You can actually smell the same cookies that you smelled in the great, uh, the large hall that you guys entered in from the church. It seems like they're baking the cookies in the tavern and then moving them through to the goblin holes. Goblin holes. I could take that way out of context. We're not doing that shit. So, uh, I, I have the source. I have sports spells to waste. I am not afraid. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> All right, over to yeah, yeah. Soblin. Hell yeah, Soblin, Soblin gang. All right, yeah, that's it. All right, so Soblin takes you got takes you guys over to first the eating hall, which you already see is jovial, full to the brim. With halflings, goblins, the gnomes, them being drunkards, herbal cookies, three, three green ca uh, casserole, fuck, drinks and lattes. You see alcohol being sloshed from drink to drink. Everyone's having a good time. Hey, that's actually pretty nice. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm not really that hungry to be honest. Are you? Oh, I'm not terribly hungry myself, but it wouldn't hurt to try it. Uwu, do you want to try a cookie? That sounds good. 
Oh, all right, let's get one cookie each then. Okay. I'll be fine. Well, if you guys want to follow me, I'll take you to the forge. I'm following. This is dying. All right. Okay, it's okay. Well, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna get two cookies, one for me, one for Uwu, and then um, yeah, I'll 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 follow to the forge, I guess. Fun fact: that area is called rough. The uh, it's gonna be kind of difficult terrain to get through all the the, the drunkards. So oh. good. <laughs> so it's going Fair. to take you. It's going to take you a little bit to get in and out. All right, so <laughs> it's a good thing I grabbed that cookie then. Yep. All right, I'm gonna give one cookie to Uwu. F feed the Uwu the cookie. It's a very savory cookie. It's not very sweet, but there is what seems to be honey instead of sugar in it. Mmm. But you it's can definitely good. taste the herbs. This is actually really good. Kinda wish we got more cookies. Oh no, it's all right. I just I just happened to have breakfast earlier, so I should be fine until lunch. What do you think, Guru? Sounds yeah, good. Uh, I was I more meant about the cookie actually. <laughs> what did you think of the cookie? It was good. Oh, that's good. All right, on to the forge now. <laughs> Uh, you see the, you can actually feel the heat of the forge as you trudge on and you, um, for those who didn't go in, you guys are led on by Soblin to the forge. It has not changed, but the tools in it have. You see that the tools are generally a lot more well kept. You see that, um, there are more mechanical tools. That are actually not exactly electric, but they're steam powered. They're using the heat of the room and the heat of the forge to both make tools and to use these mechanical tools as well. Wait a minute. Question. A forge, you say? You've have... been here before, dumbass. I know. <laughs> but can I use it? You can ask the goblins for like use of the forge but they are still going to mill around feed the forge fuel check the water temperature of the they're actually just using melted snow and uh, i'm gonna go over to one of the goblins and just be like can you use forge all right this one turns around and it's a female goblin oh yeah i think so hold on ah hey Jeanette. This Jeanette sure. character, which is another female gnome. I, I don't, I, I'm not saying that, like, I'm not saying anything. You're the one who's bringing up the fact that this is weird. Uh, looks down. What? What do you want? The no, the female gnome that a is by Shiny. A gremlin child wants to use the forge. This guy wants baby. to use the forge! Um, well, let him use one of the forges, then. I don't know. Why did we elect you Forge Master again? Shit, I don't know. Shiny. The alcohol hits harder here. Shiny should be Forge Master. I don't even know you. Shiny is shiny. Shiny is Forge Master. Believe me. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> well, um, I'm not entirely sure if Shiny can actually do his own forge. You know what? Uh, hold on. Hey! hey Broblin! Broblin! A male goblin knows it. Roblin reporting for duty. It's actually one of the beefier looking ones. Ah, uh, hey, Roblin, can you keep an eye on this guy as he uses one of our forges? He wants to try to use it, and he also kind of wants to try to put Jeanette out of her job. Perfectly <laughs> fine with me. I hate Jeanette. Fuck Jeanette. <laughs> Fuck you, Jeanette. <laughs> Fuck you, Roblin. Fuck you, Roblin. <laughs> 
Everyone hates Jeanette. <laughs> <laughs> that is a drunkard. Every time. Je Jeanette is that one employee everybody wants to get fired, but they don't know how The to. only reason she isn't fired, and you hear this from Roblem himself, is because she knows the spell Prestidigitation to turn on the forges. That's oh, yeah. it. Hey, I do that too. Want a job? <laughs> I think I'll take a drive. Alright, so Shiny's gonna go to one of the forges, crack his knuckles, and just be like, Alright. Alright, I'm on Bellows! And you see Robin like, disappear behind the forge, but you see the forge start to roar to life. Pog, 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 pog. Okay, so what I'm trying to do is I want to make a new handle for the syringe lance. Alright, this uh, is gonna take a, a bit. Yeah, that, like, I, I know that this is going to take a bit. This is what I'm doing while everyone else is busy doing their stuff. Gotcha. All right. So Soblin takes you on along back to the eggs, which sit on two private uh, forges. Uh, this is when Idelia comes in and actually meets you guys in the forge. Soblin, I have a question. Yeah? What, what I, know it was required, I know it was required of us to get platinum pieces. But if we were to use molten platinum, would that suffice? That would boil the eggs from the inside out. The only reason why we need platinum and gold is because that's used as a catalyst so that the eggshell actually decreases in size. Right now, the eggshell is pretty thick. But with the gold that you guys have already gotten, plus a couple from donors that we've had, uh, it's actually going along pretty decent. There was this one guy in a weird suit. Honestly, his the complexion didn't match the colors. Uh, what did he... Me want to donate gold. Before you do that, tell me more about this person. Boots. I'm actually quite well, curious. He was. He said he was a wizard, and that he came down from Green Hall. He looked like he kind of reminded me of the dean there, so I took his gold. The dean sometimes comes down, but he looked a little different than the dean. He was wearing a lot of green, because, you know, green hall, and that's their thing. Kind of looked like one of their brothers. Oh, well, hello, Miss Idalia. Uh, hello. Oh, do you have casts, then? Casts? Well, um, hold on. Jeanette! What do you want, Sablin? Get off your fat ass! We need casts! Casts of what? What do you need casts for? Oh, shit. Alright, well, I guess one will know. So, I reach out to the mirror, pull out the decanter. I have a solution. I might talk, I have to talk it out with some of the party members, but I do, I think we all have a collective solution for these monetary problems for uh, the dragon eggs. I just need a cast to make bars to turn- You literally could have just said bars. He said he wants bars! I'm just very talkative, I'm very bars. sorry. Bars. like the most uh -huh. conversation I had in such a long time. Oh well, no, it's I mean... fine, it's perfectly fine. <laughs> it's, it's just okay, Jeanette is, uh, I think Jeanette's already drunk and she doesn't like to leave the forge. She's, well, the forge, control thing up there. He points up to a small chair on top of a ledge. Whenever, she, whenever she's drunk. Sorry, dude. Dude, I'm sorry, please. God, I'm getting more smoke. It's fucking based. Okay. What is going on? I don't know. I'm so scared. Alright. What are you saying again? I am terribly sorry. Oh no, uh, I think we have ingot casts around here. Uh, bars, ingots, and... Uh, uh, hold on. We got dinner plates, would that work? Dinner plates? Yeah, sometimes we melt the earth and we find ceramic in it. Well, we call it clay. They, they call it clay, where we trade them, but it melts and makes ceramics. It should hold up against... Gold? Not entirely sure. What about platinum? I don't know the melting points of either of those metals. I don't work down here. 
It's understandable. All right. Um, it's not the only thing that's available, if so I'll take it. But uh, if there's like ingots or bars, uh, I would. Hold on. It. Let me let me go see Mary over there. He take as long runs as over to a different goblin, and you hear talking. Goblin, the just goblin. Mary the goblin. Oh. Okay. And you hear them talking. I tell you, what were you? You said that you wanted to do a donation. There is a donation box in the front of the forge. <laughs> Donations. We need a wheat. They are written in beautiful script. Go, got well, beautiful goblin script and in common. Going, donate to the dragon eggs. Let us bring forth another age of dragon. Wow. Y'all okay. know that's all Sovereign with his sad goblin poetry. Just leave Sovereign alone. <laughs> 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 I wish Donate fifteen goblin eggs. Donate fifteen gold. Where do I donate fifteen gold? There's a donation box at the front of the forge. I'm gonna go donate fifteen gold. Wait a minute, isn't that all? Is that all your money? No, it's not all my money. Okay, I just wanted to be sure. So I do have a hundred more if you, if you want. No, <laughs> not, don't you dare donate. Dump all of it in there. Just dumps all your money in there. You're gonna me trying to make trying to inflate the market <laughs> just because you want to keep donating. Which I don't. Congratulations! You have donated point zero zero five percent of the whole gold. Exactly. Would you like a receipt for that? Here is an oh, award. No, no, I donated. Right. I'm, I I swear I I one of y'all going into time accord. I'm not even joking. Uh, All right, so anyway. back over to Alexander. You are in the tavern. All right. So, do you, uh, what was the goblin's name again? What? Uh, Snoblin. Uh, Snoblin. So... Snoblin. There's only oh, it's a G in Oblin. Oh, okay. No. Oh, so Noblin, um Yeah. So what do you have so what do you guys have, have eaten so far? Down well there? we have stockpiles. You have stockpiles for a couple of months while the blizzards are crazy. But um normally there is a cut in the blizzards where we can go out and get chestnuts, so we got about three months worth of grain that we can use for bread, oatmeal, all sorts of other stuff down there. Why? So you guys have been just collectively eating bread or like grains, I mean. Well, that and a couple of the cave critters that sometimes come up through the tunnels. We have traps down there that sometimes catch rabbits. We got moles. Sometimes we get like the one-off giant spider that some comes comes up those aren't good eating but we also have the cave uh the cave that's down below the dragon statue where you got what you guys found that's been giving us some good fish uh we have some dried fruit but not much of that we use that sparingly right i i so how many so how, so what's your population so far cuz i think I have a small treat. What? How, so, how, many goblins, how many goblins are there to feed? Well, right now there's 40 of us, but we're also getting donations throughout the town. Because uh, while the halflings have been gathering for a lot longer than us, considering they farm, and we just got good public relations this year, well, actually in the fall, um, we've gotten pretty much a lot of stuff. They, they donate, they sometimes go out and make, make cool stuff, and then sometimes the art, some travelers come to buy during the winter and buy up stuff, and we're able to buy food from them. Sometimes some merchants come by if we're lucky. Okay, so 40 Gun, can I see gun? I see a gun in the chat. There shouldn't be a gun in the chat. The chat is lying to you. Uh, there's a gun in the, in the chat the of, uh, of the D&D &D server. 
I... Glocklin the Goblin. <sighs> you, you know what, I'll just kinda... Uh, then, uh, Noblin, give me one sentence. I have, I have one. I just try to buy a few things. If you're interested to get something, you just ask. Okay. And then you see Alexander just go to the, I guess to the tavern keeper. Uh, so, how much pork do you guys have? Uh, not much. A lot of it's been salted for the winter. And some of it's been smoked. Uh, why? What do you need? I, I feel kind of generous today. Alright. My throat is dying and my water is going out. I think I'm good boy. We're almost to the end of session, so I might just hold out and kill my voice. No vocal murder. That's the blood prize. I blame the goblin voices for this shit. I wish. I wish I'd get that. Believe in you, Kai! It's I go get some water. I do have- uh, yeah, I need more water. Anyway, so he brings out a pound of pork and he goes, Three silver. It's salted and it is smoked. He actually cuts off a slice of it and hands it to you. It is- it's like a smoked- it's not- it's like a pork brisket. It's not a beef brisket. Sorry, no. It's not pork brisket. Pork brisket doesn't fucking exist. It's like, it's pork belly. Alright, I'm gonna some water, so I'll be right back. I fucking love pork belly. Let me put the fact that we're good BRB on stream, oh no. Eh, there it is. BRB. Yes, you too. Pork belly is just thick bacon. Kill all one gold. Dwayne? Oh wow. Y'all want go? <laughs> Is it time for the Owo swing? <laughs> U W U. After say it. Ooh, 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 ooh. I don't. I'm not gonna. Say it. Say it, Gaston. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it. Your peer pressure it, affects it. me. I want money. Cash at me, and I'll say it. Say it, say it, say it. Cash at me and I'll I say would, it. but I don't. My car doesn't work with that stuff. Gasto, I have twenty-five dollars. Say oh, it, and I'll cash at you. Say it. Oh. What the fuck are you guys doing? They want me There's to say yes to anything, you, but I'm not gonna. And they keep trying to peer pressure me to do it. They're trying to make I... you say what? U W U. -U. <laughs> Guys, don't force him to say anything. <laughs> Free <laughs> fucking country. Yeah, my mother is here. Jo joking peer pressure. Joking peer pressure. Ah, uh, yes, the shit that we did in. Bro. You know, peer pressure is bad. If you are a subject of peer pressure, you should get the fuck away from those people. Those people are toxic. Unless yeah, it is like. Except Fantasia and. Fantasia and Duke. We're in the old campaign. Also, Instead. unless it's like to try, like your parents are parents are pressuring you to pr try like broccoli or shit. That's not peer pressure. <laughs> that is you being a little Stubborn sissy bitch. bitch. Or like stinky when I try to bit. tell Ren to make friends. Stinky fool babies. She she. She's not here, but I'm probably gonna get yelled at about that later. Ren makes some fucking friends. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, boys, let's continue. Mimi want to see as this works. It was <laughs> on the list. Uh Sorry, so... I'm, I'm drinking water. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. I, 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 I just didn't know what was up. It's okay. It's okay. Ah, that's some good fucking water. All right. So, 
It's three silver for a pound of salted preserved, smoked preserved. That's both in parentheses. Preserve. The reason why I said that that way is because both of them are in parentheses. Uh, pork. All right. Um, so he they gave him the little sample, right? Yep. It tastes like pork belly. Uh. Huh. Oh, this. Oh, this tastes so dear. Uh, um, do you mind if I can buy like, like three pounds worth? Yeah, that, that that's a uh, that's gonna be about uh, nine. Nine. Yeah, nine, nine, nine. Hold on. Let's see, do we even have three pounds of this shit? He he, like, you see him hop off of a stool and go rummaging behind. You can barely see the top of his head above the counter, even with you being so tall. This is a small man. He is a halfling. And so he hops back up and he goes, all right, I do have three, but that's all I have. I can give you two, but the third be one's got to be in reserve. So that, I can only give you six. I can give you six silvers worth. That, that, that'll be fine. I, I didn't want to like take that all like your whole stuff. Oh no, that's perfectly fine. I just wanted to make sure that I have some for the guests. All right. All right, I just drop my just drop six gold and that's it. All right, he hands you two pounds worth of salt preserved and smoky preserved pork. Just updating my pouch. All right, uh, all right. Uh, thank you. Now I'll. Hmm. You, you know what I think? I think they like it. Alright, uh, thank you, thank you, sir. I'll be on my way now. And you see Alexander just, like... <laughs> and then I just gonna try to look for, uh, Noblin and see if they wanted anything. No, 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 like... There's, there's herbal cookies down below. Alright. And then I just, like, wait for them and... Just go uh, back. Yeah. All right, follow me. As he continues, he walks down the earthen stairs and travels back to the, uh, the large room and then to the feeding area. You hear you hear talking and talking and choin the choins. Just fucking shoot me. Anyway, coins clinking into what seems to be a metal box. Huh. Yeah, I, I, I just go, I guess. I guess I do like a small inspection of the clicking. If you look over there, it's Idalia putting her 15 gold in there. Alright, I, I, yeah. I guess I just wave by Dahlia and then just go to the mess hall. Oh, uh, I'm... Do, do I notice? Do I notice Alexander? Um... Yes. Alright, I'll, I'll just wave back real quick. And then I just go to the mess hall, chop off the... The, sm the salted and smoked preserved pork, and then I'm just gonna go to the dragon eggs. All right. You hear just like the yes, this pork <laughs> coming from the mess hall as you leave it. Like drunken, like le uh, joy as you bring in the you bring in more food. <laughs> well, time to see my siblings now. Well, it's complicated, but yeah. Yeah. Anyways, just zoom. Toys for rude cousins. It seems like they are at fifty percent. Incubation. 
due to other donations. Okay. That just means... You see Shiny being a dipshit out of Forge, and you see uh, you see Anulon and Idelia talking with uh, Soblin. <laughs> yeah, I called you a dipshit. Anyway... <laughs> <laughs> I just saw I just saw Shiny undeafen and I was like, yeah, I called you dipshit. <laughs> you see them Fair talking enough, in front good. of the two uh, furnaces. Yeah, they've gotten bigger and so they need two furnaces to keep the incubation up. Nice. I'll, I, I'll just cast Bridges to just see if I can pat um, Shiny. They're just gonna... Just look at the furnaces. Shiny is busy making a trigger mechanism for his uh, syringe lance. They do not matter, so Pat. Ghostly. Ghostly okay. feel of Pat of air. Shiny does not make any noise other than just like, just like a small meep. Meep the... No, just like uh, the, the star Meep. of Phineas and Fur meet. Meep. Yes. Meep. Yes. Meep. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Kanye. Very cool. Commit <laughs> multiple war crimes right now. Do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's, do it. Let's kill it. the dragon eggs. I'm gonna give you one second to shut that shit no, up. No, but I want to actually play Dragonborn in highest setting. Anyways, you don't, uh, you don't get to have Dragonborn in highest setting. It's illegal. <laughs> shut up! <laughs> There's reasons I have capped on Dragonborn. Fuck you. I know. I know. I'm yeah. kidding. Yeah, it's understandable. Kai could have had Caladan, but PTSD instead she got anyways. the alcoholic with the knife. It with the knife fetish. Alright, can we kick Rhett? <laughs> <laughs> Just vulture kick. Vulture kick, <laughs> Rhett. <laughs> Rhett, you're being a sussy baka. Okay, <laughs> fuck off. See. <laughs> you also get a vote kick for saying that. <laughs> anyway. So yeah. There's a culmination of all your money that and hard effort you have spread enough of spread enough influence of you guys' misadventures to bring the eyes of a couple of pretty pretty elite people to start donating towards the cause of hatching the dragons oh yay obviously not me but yay Yay, nonetheless. Yay, yay, yay. yay for the group. Oh, I, I found something interesting. Uh, apparently, the, all the, these two eggs are actually going to... And don't quote me on this, because I had like a weird prophetic dream. But apparently they're going to bring back the entirety of the dragons. Like, you know, all the colors and shit. Oh, sorry, can't curse. I'm no longer that. I am a cleric. Can't curse. Say fuck. <laughs> this is Soblin talking to you guys. Oh. Uh, it's quite alright. We are, well, I'm at least vulgar. Italy, have you ever cursed? Fanny <laughs> just starts belting out curses left and right. <laughs> um, not just fine. When will we I'm get to aware? see Soblin's bad poetry? Soblin <laughs> writes good pa poetry. Fuck you. He now writes the best poetry. He's got himself. Right poetry, my then, guys. poetry is so Do good. Do I need to go write po- I don't need this shit from you, Mr. <laughs> knife Fetish Motherfucker. <laughs> Right. He said knife uh, fetish. Hold up, what? Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna. So, uh, Alexander, you hear from Sodland that the, uh, these two eggs, these measly two eggs, I say measly because uh, 
Boy, howdy. They fucking huge, but small for dragons. They're big for you. Uh, we'll bring dragons. back the entirety of the dragons. Uh. And no, I'm not bringing fucking Tiamat in my fucking campaign. Uh. <laughs> Do it. Do it. No, I'm not bringing back Tiamat. I have way too many gods in the first place. I'm, gonna fight I'm not bringing Bahamut either. Oh, oh. Fuck you. Dragon in here. Fuck you. I'm not bringing Puff the Rainbow Dragon in here. <laughs> also, um, I'd like to note that at some point I'm gonna make something that can fight Tiamat one on one. Get get uh, get Crystal Dragon. All right. Oh. Cast. No, I'm just gonna be. I'm just gonna make. Uh, oh, I'm, uh, I'm yeah. On so we did find something that is close to it. Unfortunately, we can't do like bars of gold. But the one, good. the highest rate of cast we have, which was given to us by the uh, gnomes, what is actually kind of strange. And he holds up, and it is a cast that looks like a flattened sheet. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a sheet of paper. <laughs> what? I'm not sure either. I'm honestly, it would make more sense for us to do the bar and then flatten it out and then do, stretch it out and fold it back together and you know actually make this. But they want just the flat sheet. Something feels off, and I'm. Let me just. I'm gonna check. Let me see if I have any spells. If not, I'll show it to Shiny. How cause... thick is the sheet of paper? Or like the sheet? The sheet cast is two inches thick. This could... Oh, fuck. This could work. It's just gonna... Alright, boys. It's let's get cocaine. one foot. And... Okay, I think here's the solution. We get cocaine... We just get a decanter, and we just make this shit work somehow. Did you roll for it? Uh, not yet. Roll to <laughs> figure out what the fuck is going on. Uh, can, what would I roll for that? Just, just roll. Just roll, uh, honestly. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it, yeah, just roll. Roll, let's roll a d20, it let's is... go. Huh? So I have Let's a horrible see. idea. We're all at D100 at disadvantage, I guess. No, 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 no. I, I I'm trying know. to think. It's definitely an intelligence roll, but I can't remember if there's a substat oh, I can use. For oh, what's okay. the question? What's the question? Eh, I d there's no identify. No, no, what, uh, what, what are they trying to do? They're trying to figure out why the gnomes gave the uh, kobolds this random cast. It looks to be about one foot wide. I would say that that would be, but very thin. A insight check. But there's no gnomes. Insight. I say insight because, um, it's like trying to. Uh, I'd say either insight or investigation. Investigation. That's the bitch. All right. Them's okay, the bitch. Is, uh, who's got the Damn. best investigation? It's not me. I just have a. I just rolled a twenty. Maybe you should talk to your intelligence caster. <laughs> the one that can actually get advantage on intelligence checks by adding, like, bullshit. Okay, I'll do me first. Okay. I got a five. <laughs> uh, you can't see- you can't figure out shit for dick. Okay, so I'm just, like, doing the think man. He's doing the think thunk. And then I look at Shiny. Shiny! Shiny is busy at the forge, smacking metal. Shiny, Smack do metal this first. with other metal! Shiny, do this first, and I'll give you the, the decanter. Shiny instantly puts down his stuff, runs over, and looks at the thing. Alright, uh, so I'm gonna missing. give myself advantage with uh, copper. That makes sense. And also, time to use a new ability. Yeah, artificers are broken. With intelligence. So, well, we'll see. We'll see if I need to use it. Two D twenty plus five. Nah, a twenty two good enough. Yeah, twenty two good enough. Um, shiny. This immediately brings back the memory of your dream last night. Oh. You remember the robotic 
looking go- uh, robotic looking uh, golems. This looks like the outside plating of them. So I have a stupid idea. <laughs> but you also remember that uh, plating can no longer uh, on a golem can only be so thick. But if you stack that thickness on another piece of plate and like use it like shingles, you can infinitely go as tall as big as you want. Shiny's gonna pick it up and be like, mm, "I want." Okay. Uh, well, no, it's uh, we kind of need that. We can buy oh, it off of you. Hands it back. Uh, oh. It's From... not ours. It's the gnomes. They I brought it with it. us, with them. Um, for, for a big robot thing, saw them in what dreams. What the hell's a robot? Uh, sorry, what in the Looks hell's a copper. robot? Looks like copper, like copper, but big. Soblin looks at copper. Looks back at you uh, so giant metal dog giant metal bug oh so they're making the exoskeleton of a bug but made out of metal why would they do that um kill oh uh, oh ah uh. We're gonna have to give that back to them then. Uh, We're not shiny, that. shiny makes the motion of what did you expect? <laughs> shiny, I think we should. I, I don't know. Them. They just gave it to us. Oh shiny god! Shiny then uh, looks at <coughs> looks at Anuana and makes grabby hands. First, I want to ask one question, mainly in the sense of is this going to be dangerous, or is it fine? Well, uh, is armor so if. We've been using that for, like, only a month, and, well, um, we've been sending average shipments about, about, like, 40 of those to the, 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 the Empire. Okay, this may be a bit danger. Yeah, that's been every, like, three days. Uh, so. quick death. Maybe stop. Yeah. yeah! Yeah, no, we're gonna give that back. We had, they told us it was an easier way to transport and to uh, now, trade. But... Now, they, they, this armor for big, big murder me. Wait, what? Don't worry. Uh, do, they th- very... do you think that they're going to war? Most likely. Don't worry about it. That's... Very concerned. Jeanette, I don't want to hear no sh- nothing from you. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Why are you guys lying? So I have a I stupid idea, and it's it's going to gonna be Shiny's <laughs> next project after I get the gun, finally. What, are you going to make a fucking EMP? No, but that would, that would be a good idea, probably. I should probably do that. Make Sinon's arm again. No, I thought about that for a second. (laughs) I'm gonna make something even stupider. Hell yeah. (laughs) The funny on and off Kindred gun. Uh, but anyway. Okay, so cast is, uh, I think, a no-go at this point. Well, I mean, can be a go, but do we want to do it? Shiny makes grabby hands for decanter. I want to think this through first. Shiny! You, you said if help, give. Okay, but if I give it to you, can we at least speak a little bit? Yes. I very hesitantly offer the decanter to Shiny. As soon as you, like, put it barely out, he, like, scrambles up your body, grabs it, scrambles back down, and holds it. Okay, so it's Shiny. So, I'm just asking this as a, as more of a proposal. If we use that cast to use the Molten Planum or Gold, do you think that could work for the Dragon Eggs? Or would that be more harmful than help? Would work, but would take long time to cool down. Very big. Better if small. 
Which we, does explain <clears throat> the coin. We, we, we have these. And he... Wait, hold on! Jeanette! Can we use the new thing? What you mean... Something you know... The, the, the cotton candy thing! Oh, cotton candy... What thing? Oh! Yeah, no, go ahead! Well, it, it's, it's attached to the second forge. Gotcha! Alright. Well, I may have found a solution. If you guys are okay with us using that thing, not entirely sure what it is, to create wires of gold and platinum. Woodwork. That's... Gold's a lot faster. Also, am... we need for secondary project. That's and fine. Shiny makes little gremlins smile. I am not smart enough to this. If Shiny agrees and says it's fine, then it's fine by me. Idalia, Alexander, are you guys okay with this? Why the hell did my stream labs just freeze? Oh, I didn't realize I was even nearby. Yeah, you guys are <laughs> all in the floor, just nice and toasty. It's and toast. oh my gosh, my, my stream labs legit <laughs> just froze. I just oh, uh, the stream is still going, so... That's... Yeah, the counter is just not moving. Uh, well, I, huh. I two... thought that I would... I thought I thought the session would be done by the time I got another chance to speak. Um, what? <laughs> what happened? So, uh... You guys wired. might be able to finish the dragon quest right here. Oh, okay. Um... Let's do it. Well, how Let's do long? Well, first, how long, is it, how long is the counter going to be out of commission for, and is there any spare barrels? Ooh, have you ever seen a dragon before? Uh, none of you have seen a dragon. Well, uh, ki mm, kind of. You've seen a subspecies of dragon called a drake. That is what platinum is. Mm -hmm. Uh, what did you ask, Alexander? If uh, there's... How long, how long is the counter going to be going to be out of commission, or, like, used for, and... Is there any spare barrels? There, uh, the uh, Soblin tells you that there are some spare barrels. Um, the decanter should be, it might take thirty minutes. If it's just thirty minutes, not I don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not so bad. but they'll easily uh, repay you with anything you need. You can use this uh, time to sharpen your weapons. Uh, talk to them about like. Food stuffs and other things. Can I work on a stupid thing? Yes, that I just, you can. That I'm thinking about. Yes, Actually, you I should probably run it by you. <laughs> yeah. You didn't even run it by me. I'm going to create the lava slug. The baby dragons are quite cute, so I don't see why not. You've seen a dragon? I don't know, but I just, I just, I just, I just think I've heard that baby dragons are cute. Oh, do you do you want a history lesson? I know nice. I was actually kind of excited to give a lesson for some reason. <laughs> I feel like I just broke Kai. Actually, I, I'm I drink. I haven't seen shit. Hold on. Okay. A lesson would be nice once we're um, done donating ev done everything for this. Then. All right, that's perfectly Allow fine. Me to I'm, just just I'm just really throw expect this image of cute such a long time chat. since I've ever really give lesson. Such of things, but I'm okay. Yes, 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 yes. Um, honestly, I think it's going to be a while, so I can't honestly tell you a lesson now about the dragons, or at least about uh, that Draco meteor that hit. It's uh, mm. not the most happiest of tales, but it is a tale. Um, sure, I wouldn't mind. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. Oh, wait, no, that's just art. <laughs> I thought I just deleted all my shit. Wait, did I? Oh, no. Okay, oh, fuck. Uh, do I have to make fuck a stat block no. for this if oh, I need to? Oh, thank you. <laughs> Roll a cluster of emotions. Dude, I thought I just deleted all the notes from the beginning and I was about to <laughs> break down. I was about to like really to break down. Like, no, not my notes, not my precious pain. Cry. Just crying. At the seams, okay. I but no, it's it's fine. Lesson, you say? You said you said yes to lesson. Oh uh, yes, 
this, I wouldn't mind a lesson. Fuck yeah, dude. Alright. <clears throat> there once were dragons around. Spawning about, same as always, mostly a tales would say beforehand, until... Uh, well... Uh, there were certain events <laughs> that occurred. Mm. Yeah, I was just gonna listen. How do I this, this is gonna be God. great, okay. It's such a long time since I've told stories. You have to work with me. Mm -hmm. I... It is quite hard. Okay. Every bard starts somewhere. Mm -hmm. Well, I think I used... It's been a while, I think I used to tell stories of certain sorts. I'll tell you more of the practical effects of uh, what people would call the Draco Media. It was used as a defense. Honestly, I comment ever every 10,000 or 1,000 years, a type of special comment would occur. If I remember cor correctly, the elves... It was, I'm going to look at Alexander. It was the elf used it, right? The Draco Meteor. The Draco Meteor? Yeah, the Draco Meteor that wiped out most. Or the Draco Meteor was just a... It wasn't even a meteor. It was just more like a, some kind of pheromones in the air that just started to like kill the dragon. Uh, and kill, like, I, the I actually know a little bit about that. It's actually a spell cast on- uh, well, it's not exactly pheromones, it's a spell cast on a meteor. So that every time the meteor appears, the dragons would go into a rage. And would kill and slaughter each other. For territory and stuff. That's- that's why I- that's why, why I correlated with pheromones, but like, yeah, that spell kind of makes sense. The spell itself? That's why we there, there's been an outlaw on like level ten to twelve magic for quite some time. Ah, that's what I did. The eleventh to twelfth spell was used for the Draco Meteor. I think it no, it's not coming together. It came by probably only like around a hundred years. Oh. It was a sort of a defense. There was only two dragon too young to be affected by that spell. The Draco Media. There was a white dragon, one of them, anyways. We've actually encountered him, if I recall, right at a wedding <gasps> for Pepe. Dragon. Yes, Pepe. well, we haven't yeah. really. We haven't, have we actually seen that white dragon in. Dra we haven't, haven't seen them since, a, like, for a while. I just remember not... that Shiny was extremely scared of him. Oh, well, I. Last time I remember, y'all saw the Durgan was the wedding. Yeah, like the wedding. Well, yeah, but we never. But I don't think I know we saw him at the wedding, but did we ever see him at dragon form? Was he just? Yes, you saw him in dragon form before the wedding, as he, uh, as he, as the cart. You guys almost got ran off the road. It mm. as he scared the horses. That's what I remember. Okay, yeah, yeah. We've encountered a dragon before, not by intentional means, but. Probably be quite a fascinating tale as well. It was My flying over is... of us, or at least flying nearby, and actually scared the horses. When we've investigated even more in a, at the Pepe wedding, um, we've actually encountered the white dragon in human form. It, it was quite something to say for sure. It was quite fascinating to see anything humanoid like. Oh man, I have really been terrible with these storytellings. <laughs> it's alright. There was the Draco Media brand. We had shrine they had shrines here or something of the sort that um depicted the events, or at least just outright told them. I look at one of the uh Gooblins or Kubolds. I'm just gonna I, I just, I'm gonna look at peeps. Is the shrine still here? With uh, the dragon? Yeah, we actually uh, dressed it up for the holidays. Alright. Adelia, mm -hmm. is, it still, is it still in the same spot? Or have you two... Oh. It is. It's still in the same spot. It's kind of been... Uh, it's, it's a holy place, so we don't mess with it much. It's a dragon with a Santa hat. <laughs> <laughs> Please say yes. No, it's not. It, it's still the same 
it's still the same dragon, but instead of regular like incense, you can actually smell these uh, smell of warmed herbs, not burning herbs, because burning herbs smell horrible. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. I uh, hate shit. All right. I stand up, look at Adelia. I know where the shrine is. You want a more look, a more closer look at really how they, everyone here, made these dragons, or at least saw them at this way long ago. I can't show you the shrines. It is quite fascinating, actually. I'm very mm -hmm. fond of it. Oh, I like that. Right, I'm going straight to the shrine. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna follow a new one. Because I don't have the decant anymore. Shiny's got, and must want to know from that for it. So I'm going to that shrine. Was it copper, or was it uh, a different metal? I can't re not remember. Or was it bronze. not even metal? A bronze. Okay. We get there. So Shiny's just gonna real quick fuel the rest of the dragon hatching. Dragon, 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 you actually dragon, see dragon. Roblin pushing it like super quickly to spin out thin threads of gold. And he's the Roblin seems to be the only one that can work any of these mechanisms. Sure, they may be goblin size, but Roblin has the strength to do so. He's a chonky boy. He is thronk Roblin boy. Be Oh, As I guess we continue on, I'm still probably gonna keep telling the story, or at least <laughs> make a failed attempt to. Um, Robin got them these tired. people, at least, um, these goblinoids, or it's just these people here, that uh, made these shrines. They was to worship a bronze dragon. It's Shigarath. 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 Uh, I guess the name varies depending on how you are. Shut the this, fuck! <laughs> this dragon, um, at least in uh, the culture here, it likes sweet so much that they would allow the bounty to harvest or grown, and any other crop was uh, shut down, or in a sense, just would just disintegrate, in a lack of better uh, words. It was every 10,000 years that come by, and the dragons would go away. Well, not the even elven influence of the indulgent greed. This shrine was a lot older than those 10,000 years. Um, maybe 50, I don't know. It's been a while, and I think I've been, this story's just been, uh, flew a little bit more past me. One bronze dragon and one dragon. They were already hatched, but again, too young be affected by the influence so they are mainly just find the way they are the two eggs that you saw back at the forge those still lion way lion way to be hatched that's why we are doing um gold platinum thesis it is to eventually hatch them and then see them grow oh i can't wait i can't wait either it is very perplexing why some hate the dragons, or at least whatever mistakes have occurred. I never understood so much of it, but I guess now being an elf, dragonborn or dragon, um, I guess it wouldn't dawn on me too much. Oh shoot, do I have any more? I don't think I got more to go on about it. Yep, that's... Well, actually... Oh no, that's just a mana store. No, yeah, no. I, I, that's all the Dragon Draco Meteor store I can. I'm just kind of like, say, just kind of staying in the shrine room. I'm just kind of look at the shrine. Okay. It's just nine. It's just it's just nine oh four because like I know that yeah. that's almost the session. So yeah. that's just the last action I'm gonna yeah. do. Just all right. Look at the so you look at the shrine. Uh, Delia, you're at the shrine. All right. Alexander and Shiny, you see the web of gold slowly forming. It's no longer, it's not on the spool, but it is, it almost looks like silk. 
pretty. Alexander, you see the shenanigans that's going on, oh, and you are met with the hut, 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 hut of uh, Roblin, the goblin. And you see the quest slowly filling itself. How do you feel? You know, that'll be until next time. Wow, fuck me, I guess. Anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get cockwalk, bitch. How does, uh, how does it feel now, huh? How does it feel now? God! Jesus. <laughs> you wanna get fucking smoked? Anyway. But yeah. As the quest is finally coming to the end, thanks to some ingenuity from Soblin the Goblin and Shiny... You guys are going to receive the quest complete. <laughs> complete. I about said complete. The quest complete of Return of the Dragons. And Idelia is learning about the dragons. And why. And none of you know what the impact is whenever you. you re these dragons will be taken under the care of the White King and the Copper Queen. But that's for another time. That's all for this episode. Goodbye! Bye. Goodbye! My voice is dead. <laughs>